Chapter 18 The next morning, Mr. Sir marched the boys to another section of the lake, and each boy dug his own hole, five feet deep and five feet wide. Stanley was glad to be away from the big hole. At least now he knew just how much he had to dig for the day, and it was a relief not to have other shovels swinging past his face or the warden hanging around. He dug his shovel into the dirt, then slowly turned to dump it into a pile. He had to make his turns smooth and slow. If he jerked too quickly, he felt a throbbing pain just above his neck where Zigzag's shovel had hit him. That part of his head, between his neck and ear, was considerably swollen. There were no mirrors in camp, but he imagined he looked like he had a hard-boiled egg sticking out of it. The remainder of his body hardly hurt at all. His muscles had all strengthened, and his hands were as tough and calloused. He was still the slowest digger, but not all that much slower than Magnet. Less than 30 minutes after Magnet returned to camp, Stanley spat into his hole. After a shower, he put his dirty clothes into his crate and got out of his box of stationery. He stayed in the tent to write a letter to so Squid and the other boys wouldn't make fun of him for writing to his mother. Dear Mom and Dad, Camp is hard, but challenging. We've been running obstacle courses, and we have to swim long distances on the lake. Tomorrow we learn. He stopped writing as Zero walked into the tent, then returned to his letter. He didn't care what Zero thought. Zero was nobody. Learn to rock climb. I know that sounds crazy, but don't worry. Zero was standing behind him now, watching him write. Stanley turned and felt his neck throb. I don't like it when you, you read over my shoulder, okay? Zero said nothing. I'll be careful. It's not all fun and games here, but I think I'm getting a lot out of it. It builds character. The other boys... I don't know, said Zero. What? Can you teach me? Stanley knew what he was talking about. Teach you what? To rock climb? Zero stared at him with penetrating eyes. What? said Stanley. He was hot, tired, and sore. I want to learn to read and write, said Zero. Stanley let out a short laugh. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't laughing at Zero. He was just surprised. All this time he had thought Zero was reading over his shoulder. Sorry, he said. I don't know how to teach. After digging all day, he didn't have the strength to try to teach Zero to read and write. He needed to save his energy for the people who counted. You don't have to teach me to write, said Zero. Just teach me to read. I don't have anybody to write to. Sorry, Stanley said again. His muscles and hands weren't the only parts of his body that had toughened over the past several weeks. His heart had hardened as well. He finished his letter. He barely had enough moisture in his mouth to seal and stamp the letter. It seemed that no matter how much of the water he drank, he was always thirsty.